using the control panel. One of the things you got to keep in mind is the control panel gives you many, many different options. After you initialize the cutter, you can press the condition button to change conditions, maybe for materials or speeds and so forth. The LCD panel at the top is going to show you the setup. You can press the up and down arrows to get those conditions to come up. I'll zoom in here and I'll press the up and down arrows and as you watch the LCD panel you'll see it's changing to condition 6, 7, 8 and so forth. Once you get to a condition like condition 2 you can use the right arrow buttons to actually move the cursor over to different parts like the offset, the force and then use the up and down arrows to make changes. When you've got your changes set simply press enter. Other functions in the control panel can be accessed by pressing the pause button first. Then use the next or previous buttons to access other options. Now as I zoom in here, we'll look at a few of those options. Again, I have it on pause. The status button is now no longer lit and I use the next button to find the next option I want to change. This is where you'll find the auto registration marks and a number of other settings. All of these settings are in your manual your online manual that you installed when you installed the programs. Now if I stop at the command option and I choose uh, enter, what this will do is give me the option of changing that command. Just use the up and down arrow to do so. When you got it set, press enter and you've set your new options.